gonna do a video today to show you how to fit these genuine Land Rover bright finish strips on the window rubbers on the Land Rover Discovery 3 and 4. So this goes on these rubbers here, um, just sticks onto the front face. Okay, so I'm gonna pass the camera over to Gina. Now there's, in the kit you get a couple of things. There's, there's the cleaning sachet. This one here is the Adhesion Promoter Sachet. So the first thing you need to do is open one of these cleaning sachets. It's a bit windy today, so everything's going to blow around. I'll try not to make too much mess. If we open this up and we'll just... You get two so you can do... So it's, it's sticking on the front face, not the top face, the front face. So we just clean it along there, and that'll just get rid of all the grease and oils. Now one thing you'll notice on this car is you can see that on some of the older discoveries it's starting to bubble. So one thing you could use this for is to cover that. Now we do two types of window trims. This one today we're doing is this. It's a very two dimensional as you can see from the end there. Um, trim that sticks on. The the other type we do is, a, is actually a corner one made from stainless steel which might cover the disfigured rubber better. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a pair of gloves on for this because the, um, the adhesion promoter is pretty vile stuff. But sticking onto rubber can be problems, problematic. So by using the adhesion promoter it makes it a little bit better. Okay, so there's the adhesion promoter again, it's got a little tear thing. Okay, and this comes with a slightly different, it's a little sponge. Get it out. Okay, and then again, it's a moist sponge. If you just do that. Now obviously you'll have to do both sides together because you've only got one of those in the kit, okay? So again, put that one back in there. Right, now what you'll notice is that one end of the trim is sloped quite sharply and another end, this is the other one, is, is, is less sharp. Now the sharp angle goes at the front, okay, and then the blunt, the more blunt angle goes on the rear. Now obviously these, these long ones, this is the front one we're talking about. So this one here is the front door. So I'm going to put the sharp angle at the front and the blunt angle at the rear. So what we're going to do is you want to just leave a few millimetres there and then line it up. Okay, along the door, okay, like so, okay, and then likewise with the, the rear one, the rear one actually tapers out to the, out to the back, so if you, and if you see it gets thinner and slopes down, that goes to the rear of the back door. Hold on. Okay. So, again, I'm going to start at this edge here. <laughs> start there. And just look along. Okay. And that goes. There, and that's that's the job done. If you want to zoom back, Gina, and show how that looks. Now we've put the lower door trims on this vehicle as well, so we've got the upper and lower strips on there, and that's what Land Rover call the bright finish pack. 